Hello and welcome to our new video. In this video we will make you cover how you can display variations like colors and sizes on your shop page or archive page for your variable product. So without further ado let's get started. Step 1. Install variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin. To install it, go to your dashboard. Click on add new plugin. Then search for variation swatches and you will find the variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin by Emran Ahmed. Now install it. Step 2. Download and install variation swatches for WooCommerce Pro plugin. To download the Pro version, go to the website getwooplugins.com. Then click Plugin. Here you will find all the plugins by the Get2 Plugins team. Now pick your desired plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce. Then select the pricing option and click the buy now button. Here fill up your billing details and download the plugin. To install the plugin head back to the dashboard. Click add new plugin. Then press upload plugin. Now choose the file you previously downloaded. Then click install now. Now it's time to display variation swatches on the shop page. This is our shop page having a few variable products with by default WooCommerce select options. Now we can include attractive variation swatches by activating the plugins installed earlier. To do this, head back to the plugin link. Now activate the variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin. Then again activate the variation swatches for WooCommerce Pro plugin. Now come back to the shop page and refresh it. Awesome! Here's the variation swatches with color and size attributes. Okay, now let's explore some awesome usage of variation swatches for WooCommerce on the shop page. Usage 1. Rounded shape buttons. You can see here all the buttons are in squared shape. You can turn them all into rounded shapes. To do that, go backend and click get to plugins link. In general section, you can find rounded shape option just beside the shape style. Now select it. Then click save changes button. Then go back to your shop page and refresh the page. Here are your desired rounded shape buttons. Usage 2. Resizing the swatches style. Here you can change the shape and size of these swatches. Now click on styling. Then scroll down a little bit and you will find archive page swatches style section. From here change the width and height according to your need. Now click save changes.
and go back to your shop page. Refresh the page. See, the swatch's size has been increased. Usage 3. Remove clear link. When you select swatches, a clear link appears under it. You can remove this option by going back to your swatches settings. Press archive or shop button. Scroll down a little bit. Uncheck the show clear link box. Then click save changes button. Now head back to your shop page and refresh it. Look, the clear link is not showing anymore. Usage 4. Show swatches on archive or shop page. If you don't want to display your swatches on shop page, it's totally up to your choice. So to do that, go back to your swatches settings. Press archive or shop button. Uncheck the enable swatches box. Scroll down and press Save Changes. Then hit back to your shop page and refresh it. See, no swatches are showing here. Usage 5. Display swatches position. You can also show your swatches position. To apply this option, go back to the swatches settings. Click on Archive or Shop button. Scroll down and click before Add to Cart button. That's it. Then click Save Changes button. To see the changes, head back to the Shop page and refresh it. Look, the swatch's position changed. Usage 6. Swatches alignment setup. You can see the swatches are aligned on the left side. We can move this on the right side as well as at the center position. So let's get back to the swatches settings again. Click on archive or shop button. Then select the alignment position you want. Hit the save changes button. Then back to the shop page and refresh the page. Look, the swatches alignment position changed. Usage 7. Disable tooltip while hover over any swatches. A tooltip appears while you hover over any swatches, right? Sometimes it creates obstacles for the customers. To disable this option, go back to your swatches settings. Press archive or shop button. Check the disable tooltip box. Scroll down and press Save Changes. Then hit back to your shop page and refresh it. See, no tooltips appearing now? Usage 8. Show single attribute. To show single attribute on your shop page, go back to the swatches settings. Then click on special attributes.
Then check the show single attribute box. Now select which attribute you want to display on the shop page. For this tutorial we will choose color attribute. Then click save changes button. Now head back to your shop page and refresh it. See, the previous double attribute has turned into single attribute. When you click any one of these products you can see the unchanged double attributes on product page. On shop page, you may notice the last product not showing any attributes because it's made by custom label attribute. To solve this issue, click on this product. Now click on edit product. Then click swatches settings. Now, change the catalog mode attribute from global to color. Then click save swatches settings. Then click the update button. Now come back to your shop page and see the color attributes have appeared. Thanks for watching.